Yeah. Okie dokie, Albert Joseph here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take that shit seriously. Yeah. Uh, today is Saturday, uh, Feb Jan January 35th, 25th, 2020. Uh, we're in Glendale, Arizona. It is approximately 8.51 a.m. And Big Papa rolled in late. He's looking focused. If I don't say so myself. Yeah. Exec executive roll. Today we it's uh what what is it called again? Uh it's called uh Supercross. Triple Crown. <laughs> Super <laughs> Triple Crown. <laughs> Today we did this thing called Supercross. Uh Triple Crown, which I didn't realize is a triple crown until yesterday, Alex told me. And it was a surprise. Now our comments is way down. <laughs> <laughs> so I was down in the dumps for a few minutes. But that's okay. One of the main events I made last year, I won the LCQ at a uh, triple crown. So it's really not fun if you don't qualify, but it's actually, I like the, the three race structure if you do qualify. So we got track walk, all that good stuff. And I'll try to film, I suppose. Um, there's the shot. Oh yeah. That's it. Oh yeah. Uh, check this stuff. Stuff going off. Stuff going off. Cowie, and then Big Papa Cowie. It only makes sense at this point. I don't know how we we manage it in three rounds, but so we're we're gonna be pitted next weekend. Oh, we're, in between these two. Honestly, I think we'll probably be pitted on the infield. This is AJ Kazar checking in. <laughs> Every pass? Yeah. This time we actually passed, too. Yeah. Got the old pit set up. Got the GTs. Apparently Avery's been doing some bar spins on his. Alright, so Big Papa has two shirts. He's got the the normal shirt and then he's got the I Mean Business shirt. And for some reason, he's got the I Mean Business shirt on right away. And he's also got the I Mean Business shades on. Yeah, I mean, un unfortunately, I didn't come here to race. I came here to make some terminations, and uh, I don't like doing it. Believe me, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't get my jollies off on this one a lot. But yeah, people are gonna have to get fired today. It looks like it's just. What are your? Tough. What's your uh, your long goals as far as t team manager, team owner role? Where do you see yourself? Well. I played the game Risk a lot when I was growing up, so my mission is to fire everyone, so it's just me left on the team, which means I won. My normal cameo, my weekly cameo. Ladies and gentlemen, you are blessed. With diversity. <laughs> I'm his diversity hire for the weekend. I believe it's an old wooden ship. <laughs> Not the white shoes again. <laughs> Got the finish line double, double. I don't know how many feet that is. It's not super long, but it's scary. It's deep. That landing at press yesterday was about twice as steep. Where all the Honda shirts are is the takeoff. This is the takeoff. The triple from Malcolm Stewart to Mackenzie. And then you apparently have to jump all four of those things. All at once. Mm. All at one time. That's Without what it's commonly referred to as ground. a quad. Which, if anyone knows me, I like to avoid triples at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> a quad is... So a quad... <laughs> Such a stupid guy. sport! Gary Rock, he's always got the vlog camera in his hand, but I've never seen him actually film. Well, I, I don't really do that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like a right. He films a whole vlog, and I I never see him fire the camera up once, and then all of a sudden he's got an episode. Well, because he has Brit do it, like everything for him. It's very stealth. Whoa! <laughs> 
Look at this idiot. Look, look, look at this idiot. And then you died. I just realized you had a vlog like yesterday. I was wondering why you were asking me questions about my camera. I know, yeah. I watched your vlog actually to watch the uh, GoPro footage that? from Press Day. This is a GoPro 6. Yeah, but what is it in? Oh, I don't know. Yolanda's case? Nice. Oh, you got, got a mic, mic too? Yeah, <laughs> you're a pro. Look at that Canon G7. Yeah, like, I know. I'm, I'm a step up from you, but that's not bad. All right. How long did you work? This is my competition right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him out today. I'm gonna T-bone. Did you ride press? Actually, I, I watched your video to see the lines and stuff. Mm. Press, you're welcome. So. What did you do? One, a two, three. From a spectator standpoint. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot of them. Being a princess. Oh, I didn't. Here's what we're doing here. Man, we're just trying to free up his forearms, get a little blood flow through there, get a little oxygen through there. If he has any stuff that's stuck in there, maybe just help free that up and help him pump that out. We're not going to do a lot because it's a game day adjustment. He's not used to this in training. So what we don't want to do is have it, have it recoil and come back and actually create inflammation and bring swelling into the to the region. But we're just going to do a little bit and see how he feels on this run here and. See if it helps him. <laughs> In this round, Nice to meet you, dude. <laughs> that was a cool save you had. Yeah. Yeah. Put a lot. Put a lot. Yeah. What's up, man? I'm gonna let you go. But it was good seeing you. Yeah, good seeing you. Nice to meet 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 not, not pretty, but not as ugly as, as last weekend. You're welcome. I just got to go faster in the whoopie deuce. And I got to do one jump. So, just small goals. But of course, top 18 would be awesome. But I want to be realistic as well. So, thank you. You're, you're welcome. Yep. Yeah. That's probably good. Thank you for doing that. All right, just finished today. 10th place LCQ. <clears throat> Had to start from the way outside, way outside, and then Reed just um, kept going wide, which was smart. I wouldn't call it dirty. He just went all the way to hay bale, and I went right off the track, so came from dead last back to, I think, 10th. 
by far the best I've ridden all season. Probably shouldn't aim that at the stereo. <clears throat> best I've ridden all season, so I'm happy with that. First time that I've actually been mad that I didn't make the main event. The other ones I was more so just excited to make the night show, which is not obviously not what I should be. So progress, progress, progress. Next weekend, I'm actually gonna be gunning to make the main event. So that, back, back to where I belong. Back from the weekend, back home. Today is Sunday, tired, just had a flight last night, left at 1.30 a.m. right after the race, got back at 7 a.m., didn't sleep on the flight, so thought I was gonna save a day, but really I'm probably just gonna waste Sunday away. Um, overall, again, just that I, I realized that when I'm editing the footage here, I didn't really do any type of outro, so just wanna thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the lack of footage this weekend. Every time I think I have a ton of footage, footage and I go to edit it and I, we, I don't have anything. <laughs> um, gonna try to, add, it's tough on race day, but definitely gonna try to film a little bit more throughout the day and just create a little bit more of a storyline for you guys if I can. Uh, watching back that LCQ start, like if, when I put it in slow-mo, you guys can see like I was way out there and I missed, so this is the first time ever that I had the shift of fourth on a 450 down the start straight. And what you can see happening is I'm, what it's kind of Reed and I, I probably had a, even a wheel on him and we were pretty far out ahead of everybody else. And then they were slowly eating me up. And a lot of people are like, oh, well you let off early, this and that. I mean, you can see where Reed and I let off and it's the same spot. I'm getting just eaten up before I let off and it's because I couldn't get my shift to fourth. It, in the video, you can't see me struggling for it, but I tried it like four or five times and I, I wasn't willing to let off, so the bike just didn't want to go. Um, if I got that shift to fourth, probably would have been able to make that happen. Would I have qualified? Mm, I don't know, but I think this would have been the first weekend where I would have had a very good shot at doing so if I had been up there. So all good, got some progress. Next week after Oakland, I'm gonna stay at Alex Ray's house during the week and get some good seat time in, so that should help. If you guys can see, I got the new shirt on. This is February edition, and holy cow. I mean, I definitely, I. I spend the most money and get the best quality I can. This is a tri blend, but this is probably the softest one that we've had. So if you guys wanna show your support, click the link below. Um, I think they're $25, well worth it. This is not a crappy shirt that you wear once and, and you're done. You could probably wash this thing and dry it a million times and it's still gonna be exactly as is. They run true to size. This is a medium, just for reference. Um, but if you guys can, subscribe below. Subscribers are slowly going up and every Friday I finally got approval from Feld to do uh, GoPro videos from press day. So I'm gonna start putting up a video every Friday at press. So that's pretty cool. Got the helmet cam up from this weekend. So check that out. That's gonna be linked at the end of this video as well. So yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment below guys if you have any questions at all. I'm gonna try to respond to everybody's comments within the first you know, hour, two hours of posting. I definitely try to do my best to get back to all you guys. Also appreciate all your support this weekend. I've never had so many people come up at a race and, and show their support for the videos and just say that you guys are watching and loving them, whether it's the instructional stuff that I've been putting out or the, uh, the race day vlogs. It, it seems like a lot of you guys enjoy it. So it gives me motivation to try to keep doing it. Thanks guys and I'll see you next weekend in Oakland.